Hey, good evening everybody. Tonight I'm going to attempt to smoke chicken wings. I'm going to use Rectech Greg's method. He cooks them at 275 for an hour and a half, two hours, bumps the temperature up and gets the skin crispy. So I'm going to attempt the same thing. I'm also going to show the people out there that are complaining that the Rectech, the RT680, does not display the correct temperature. And they're right. If you want to cook at 300 on the grill grate, then the Rectech setting it for, for set and actual temperatures of 300 isn't going to give you 300. You have to set the Rectech to the temperature you want. And once you reach that temperature with the Rectech, just keep going. Or once you tell the Rectech what temperature you want, it'll cook like that until you turn it off. This is the Rectech RT680. If you notice, we've got the probe right here which Direct Tech uses to maintain its temperature. What I've done is I've put a, a probe here for my, for my uh, Thermoworks smoke and I've put another probe right here for my Thermoworks smoke. So I've kind of split that grill into thirds and I want to show you that once we get the temperature right with the air probes that the Rectech works just fine. Well you can see in this South Florida afternoon it's a nice 104 and 98 with the lid closed on that Rectech. So we'll, we'll fire this Rectech up and we're going to set the uh, we'll do the set temperature on the Rectech to 275 and we'll go from there. The last time I cooked on the grill 235 so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and set this to 275 and we'll see what the smoke reports. Okay, so the Rectech set point right now is 275. We'll let this heat up for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. We'll come back out and check it. Actually, what's nice about the smoke from Thermoworks, I don't have to go outside and check it. I can check it inside, and once it's heated up, we'll adjust it accordingly to get us 275 for the chicken wings. The set point is 275. The actual point, it says it's 275. 276. This maintains within plus or minus 2. When we look at the Thermoworks smoke, it's only 263, 260. So I still need 15 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bump the set point of the Rectech up 15 degrees, which will make it 290. Alright, so we'll go back to set point. We have set point. Now we're going to go up to 290. We'll go back to actual and we'll wait for this to come up to temperature. The actual temperature, 291, that's pretty good. Now if I look at my Thermoworks smoke, I have 280 and 273. The top probe is the left hand probe and the bottom probe is the right hand probe. I now have the Rectech outside set at 290 degrees. The left probe is 280, the right probe is 273. So I'm going to keep it here. I'm going to put my chicken wings on and cook them right now. Now that the sun's gone down and it's not blazing on my grill, you notice we had a bit of a temperature flip-flop to where now the right side is hotter than the left side and they've kind of evened out in temperature but my Rectech is still set at 290 or 300 to give me the 275 that I'm looking for to cook. Uh, the orange dot if you notice that that's because my smoke gateway which is allowing my tablet to pick up the temperature of the, of the uh, smoke is synced to that smoke unit. I have different smoke units so I, I've color coded them so I make sure I get everything that's synced together together when I cook. The sun's gone down and now my grill's pretty much stabilized right around 275 with that Rectech set at 290. And that Rectech is cooked pretty solid since the whole time we fired this thing up. 
I'm going to go ahead and turn this Rectech up. I put this Rectech up to 400 for like the last half hour. We'll crisp up those wings. Right now we're running at 279, 286. Actual temperature is 334. Set temps 400. The thing's cranking in more wood. We'll be there in no time. I wanted to finish my wings off by cooking at 350 for the last half hour. So I bumped that Rectech up to 400 to get that thing pushing pellets into the grill. So we're probably 15 minutes into me setting the temperature to 400. And that grill's 344, 341. So now that it's dumping a lot of pellets, the grill temperature is pretty much stabilized. Probably another 15, 20 minutes, that grill temperature will go over 350, and I'll have achieved what I wanted to do with cooking off at 350 for the last half hour. Tonight, I made chicken wings per Rec Tech Greg's recommendations, and those things came out phenomenal. And I would say if you own a Rectech or any pellet grill, you need to get yourself a device that can monitor the grill temperature versus the temperature displayed on the grill that you're using. I have a Maverick, I have a Thermoworks. I prefer Thermoworks. It's so user friendly, you won't believe it. I have a college education and to use that Maverick, I got to whip out the manual every time to figure out how to set things. So I recommend the Thermoworks. I'm the average Joe. I can't get in trouble for telling you that. I made chicken wings per Rec Tech Greg's recommendations and they came out phenomenal. I made them with a rub. I made them with a sauce. They were both delicious. I ended up throwing all of them in the sauce because the sauce is really good. Uh, my point is, if you're going to use a pellet grill, you need to have a reference point to start with. I put my Smoke Thermoworks air temperature probes in the grill to determine the cook temperature that I was dealing with. Uh, the settings on your pellet grill Although accurate for the grill may not be accurate for what you're cooking. Uh, I've used the Smoke Thermoworks. I've used a Maverick. The Maverick to me is very difficult to use. The Thermoworks Smoke, that thing's a breeze. I know when you barbecue, barbecue, drinking alcohol beverages, they kind of go hand in hand. A couple too many alcohol beverages, you're not going to work that Maverick but you will work that Thermoworks. Um, I, I highly recommend the Thermoworks smoke. It's, you can operate that no matter what state of mind you're in. But I do recommend that if you have a pellet grill, no matter what kind of pellet grill that you have, that you monitor the cook temperature with the air probe because my Rectech, even though it holds temperature plus or minus two degrees, when I want them to cook 275, it, my meat I had to set that Rectech to 290 so I hope it helps this helps you guys out because a lot of people complain that the Rectech doesn't display or cook at the temperature that's on the display and you know what you're right but you need a reference point Maverick Thermoworks smoke whatever you decide to use you need something to reference a temperature that you're cooking and then you can bump your grill up or down to achieve what you want well, hey, I hope this helps. See you later.